Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be installing a isolation switch and an EV board. So let's get started. Now if you recall on the last video we spoke about getting the main cutout fuse upgraded to 100 amps. So the DNO is going to be coming out next week to upgrade the main cutout fuse which is just this bit if you missed the last video is this bit here so what we're going to do today before they come is do the prep work so this property will have an EV charger installed at a later date but what we're going to do we're going to put an isolation switch in and a separate board so let's have a look at the few bits that we're going to need before we do the insulation and then we'll go through the insulation step by step let's have a look at what we've got so we've got this which is the EV board so this is what the EV will be fed out of and this is what we'll be putting extra towels into as well so this comes with a 40 amp RCD type A you also get two MCB so this one's a 32 and this one's a B6 so we'll be making some changes to these but I'll show you when we come to them this is the isolation switch so this cuts off the power uh, that is a hundred amp Wilex we've got two Henry blocks we've got a 32 millimeter gland we have got 16 mil earth and these are double insulated towels and these are 25 millimeters each and then this is a bg surge protection device and this is a bg 32 and breaker we've also got some six mil singles so these are for the surge protection but again when we come to do them through the video i'll talk through it all let's have a look what we've ended up with so let's quickly have a look at this section again because it'll make more sense so if you recall i said before from here backwards so down to the cutout fuse which is down there this is owned by the dno so from this point onwards they do not touch any of this they only deal with this side now because we're getting the cutout upgraded to 100 amps they have a few requirements so one is the consumer towels which are these need to be uprated to 25 millimeter squared which is this size and the fuse board needs to have a 100 amp switch and that will satisfy the dno now if that isn't done they do not upgrade the cutout for you they'll come out they'll have a look and they'll go no we can't do it until that's done so it's quite important that we get that done so now let's have a look at the setup so we've plugged this in we've we've wired this up to the isolator and we've done normally your electricity supplier does this but we've done it for them in this case now like i mentioned before if we ever want to turn this fuse board off you can see i'll move this out of the way these are the towels that go into this meter and we are not allowed to touch these so if you ever want to turn this off you want no power to this you have to call someone out to come and do this and that's not always convenient so that's the whole point of having the isolator in is that we can turn this we can turn the power off to that board at will so when scottish power come out they will connect these into this meter and then all the power comes here and we like i said we can turn this on and off as we please now from here what we've done we've we've got a live going over to this Henley block and we've got the neutral going over to this Henley block and what will happen on the day 
once they've upgraded it, we'll turn this off and we're gonna add another set of towels. So ones like these. So we've got them here. So these are the towels again. And we're gonna put one in there and one in there. And they're gonna come out and what's gonna happen we're gonna have, again, we're gonna have a live, gonna come out and it's gonna go into there, into this board, and we're gonna have a neutral coming into this board as well. And we're gonna use one of these stuffing glands. So this is a 32 mil and it has, I suppose you'd call this a bush. You have this bush in it. So the 25 mils go through here and the earth, the 16 goes through there. And we'll set it on top like that. And then what that means is the power will split off from here and go into there. And if we ever need to turn this off, we can just simply switch it off from there. So the next step is these towels here. So these towels go over to this, which is our EV board. So the same thing again, we've got the live comes in, neutral comes in as well we've used the same sort of stuffing gland as you can see and this board is only for the EV now we like doing it this way because if there's ever a problem over here we don't need to turn off any power to the house we can just switch it off here it's separate it's on its own and if we need to work on it it's we're not causing any inconvenience to yourselves so this is the same board that I showed you a bit earlier. Oh, let me open this up. We've got the 40 amp breaker there, type A. So that's required when you're installing an EV charger because of DC current. And we've got the 32 amp breaker there and a six amp breaker there. So the 32 will be using for the EV charger. So they're, they're MCBs, by the way. B32 and the 6. So luckily this is the outside wall so it's going to be a very short run. So what we do we'll drill through this wall and we'll bring the EV cable straight into the side of this and that's how it will connect. Now I did make a little mistake and we all do it so I'm not going to hide it. I drilled as you can see into this hole here but if you can see there there's a little bit of metal truding out where the screw goes in and what what's happened there it wouldn't let me tighten this up because the top of this was hitting that so i've had to drill the next one along and tighten it up that way so what we'll do we'll get a blank put in there and then that brings it up to the safety standards that it needs to be also, because we're inside, we don't have to worry too much about the IP rating because we're not really going to get any water in this cupboard. Well, hopefully not anyway. So, all we need to do now is wait for these to be connected in and put a blanking plate in there and that's it and we're done. The DNO will come out, they'll upgrade the fuse and we are ready to go. So that's it. What I'll do when the DNO have been out and Scotch Power and they've connected all this up, I'll take a picture and I'll post it on Instagram so you can have a look for yourselves. And then the next video, we'll have a look at testing the whole circuit as well. Right, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.